Hi everyone, um, this is Thomas McCain. I'm, well you know me already, uh, creator of Elder Sign, all that stuff, main writer, director, everything like that. I'm making this video um, to sort of tell you what's been going on. I was thinking about doing this in our new studio. I will be showing that uh, eventually, not right now. I was thinking about doing this with a professional camera and professional lighting, um, with me in the studio, uh, but I felt that that was a little fake. If you don't know me as a person, I believe in 100% transparency. Uh, I don't like keeping things, especially from fans and listeners who've given so much to the show and they're uh, invested in the show and they want to know what's what's been going on. So um, this video is kind of just um, sort of here to explain what's been going on. Lots of people have told me, come up to me and said, hey, you haven't released content since November. What's going on? It's been a year. Um, so I'm just kind of here to give you a timeline and just kind of explain some things. Uh, I, I want you guys to know that I'm not just like, screw them. You know, I'm not, I'm not like, I don't care what you guys think. I understand what's happening. I understand that you're thinking like what is happening. There's no content being released. Um, so let's give you a timeline. Back in December, we were on our way to making The Dreams Part 2. Um, we had a Christmas break. Everything was completely normal. Um, I, I went to Texas. Um, when in Texas, I considered applying to film schools, and I did. I applied for film schools, um, kind of under the assumption that I wouldn't get in, that I, nothing would ever really happen with film. So I came back. Uh, we came back, I believe it was January 3rd. My dates are a little choppy. It's been a while, um, and I ha don't have like a piece of paper here with all the dates. I came back about January 3rd. Um, by that time, we had moved into a new studio, which you've seen. Um, it meant building the studio and getting internet and stuff like that. So that took about a month. It led into February. February comes around and we hadn't done recording in about a month. We had to get the phone, we had to get the microphones, we needed to get office equipment. It, it was a huge hassle. Um, it, it wasn't a weekend thing. We, we had, I spent real money to m pay rent and pay internet and, and build the studio from scratch. February comes along and we begin doing recordings again. I've got people in the in the studio. I've been recording people. Um, Jasmine, Anthony, David. You know, we were doing things. We were doing stuff. Around that time, I was having issues with my, with my computer, and you can see those videos are on Facebook. Um, essentially, what was going on was, according to Apple, my computer was just so old that they were surprised that it still worked, um, and they said, "Well." by the end of the month, it's going to be dead. Um, and it was much sooner than that, actually, and my computer crashed. It would, it would not turn on. It, uh, just, it wouldn't turn on uh, one day. So everything was gone. Every piece of audio that we recorded was gone because I was in the process of editing it all. So it was on my desktop. Um, and my hard drive had broken, and therefore I had no backup. So we had lost two weeks of recordings uh, at that time. So frustrated, I took a weekend trip to Seattle. I got in my car, and I drove up there, and I wanted to 
you know, I, I wanted to be in Seattle. I wanted to see Seattle and I wanted to walk around, see the sights, you know, rekindle that emotion that I have for the show. And I went to Seattle and I sat there and I, and I had a long thought process and, you know, at that time we were having, not to name names or anything like that, that's not what this is for, um, we were having issues with, with actors, we were having issues with scheduling. Um, and so in Seattle I thought, well, what if we, uh, what if we cancel, what if we put our hands up and we say, um, we're done. It was in Seattle then that I received news that I had been accepted to film school. Um, I had been accepted into film school in Dallas, Texas. So that, and that happened on the last day I was there. So literally all this stuff is coming together. Um, but I said, you know what, we're going to, we're going to keep going. Even if I'm not in Reno, which is where the show was based, by the way. The show was based in Reno. Um, actors were from Reno. I lived in Reno. Uh, but the film school that I wanted to go to is in Dallas. Um, and I had been accepted to it. So, uh, but I realized, I, I sat there in, in Seattle and I said, look, even if I'm in Dallas, I can still write the show and I can still edit the show. Uh, my assistant director, Jackie, can take on as director and everything will be fine. It was on my way back from Seattle that I had an accident. So what happened was is that a three, four day uh, trip to Seattle became a two and a week half trip of me in Bend, Oregon, trying to get my car fixed uh, because it was completely totaled and no one would have come and got me. I was eight hours away from home. Um, and it, it was a substantial amount of money. I had to pay for hotels. I had to pay for food. Um, it was a lot of money. So in Bend, when I was at the hotel, I was sitting there and I realized that well now we're not only have we lost all the audio that we've been doing over the past two weeks uh, it's now March and uh, and we still haven't done recording it's been two months since we actually got substantial recordings and I sat there and I was like well I'm already being accepted into film school maybe it's time to just cancel the show. When I came back to Reno, I sat down with the other creators, uh, Toby, Philandra, and I said, look, maybe it's time that we just stop the show. Like if we just put it on hiatus and then we come back to it later. And they agreed. We all three of us agreed. And so I sent an email out to the cast and the crew, and I said, Elder Sign is done until uh, further notice. Uh, thank you for your help. Thank you for everything you've done. Um, I really appreciate the time that we spent together, and I hope we, have, uh, we stay in contact and all this stuff. And then I was planning on how I would tell people, the fans, it took me a week and a half, a week and a half of just me trying to figure out what I was going to do. So this is about the middle of, of March, um, was I was trying to figure out how I was going to break the news online when I get a message completely out of the blue. And it's Jackie, Jacqueline Fisher, who was my assistant director or who I had hired to be my assistant director. Um, before the show was canceled. And she said, look, your Jasmine, who plays Hazel, J uh, Anthony, who plays 
uh, Jason, and David, who plays the narrator, and Riley, your script supervisor, and me, your assistant director, we want to keep the show going. We understand that you're moving to Dallas. We understand that you are doing everything. And that's another thing that I don't really want to talk about, but I feel like I should. Um, Elder Sign is my passion project. It's my baby. It's what launched my career in writing, which is going well now. Elder Sign is what is my passion project. It's 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 everything to me. So I wanted to do everything I could to make it a good show. Um, and because of that, I did everything because I wanted to ensure that the show was good in pre-production, good in post-production, and good in production, and that the quality was substantially okay um, for what we were doing, you know. The first episode was in my apartment. So I tried controlling everything, every aspect of the show. I did all the audio. I did all the directing. I did all the scheduling. I did all the writing. I did all the editing. I did all the social media. And it was, it was, like, it was, it was stressful. We're trying to do a major production for free. Um, on literally no budget, and I'm doing everything other than acting. So I gained 40 pounds um, due to stress, and uh, I, I was, you know, I was breaking under the stress. I wasn't sleeping. Um, so I felt relieved that we were taking a break for, for a year, and we would pick it up after that. Um, but I got the message from Jackie, and she said, we want to continue the show, and we want to talk to you, because we understand that you're going off to Texas to do film school, and it was incredibly stressful for you, and we want to do it ourselves in Reno with you in Dallas, and we will let you do whatever you want to do. Um, we will let you do whatever you want to do. And I said, all right. I'm going to be the, the showrunner. I'm going to be, I'm going to produce it. I'm going to write it. I'm going to edit it. That's it. I'm not going to do social media. I'm not going to do scheduling. I physically can't do the directing. Um, I'm not going to do casting. I'm not doing anything. And they said, that's fine. That's okay. So they then went through a casting process uh, with Jackie as the director Jackie tried uh, hiring on people to, to make production roll smoothly along. And uh, by May, I was, in, I was in Dallas. I was in Texas. From May 2nd on to, to, to now, I, had, I was hands-off. I was not doing directing. I, it was... It was Jackie and the Reno team were in charge of production. They were to make sure that I got audio files to edit. I would write the story. They would act it out. They would, they would record it. I would then edit it, and then I would produce it and put it on uh, Podomatic and iTunes and all the different sites. Around... May 10th, there started to be production issues on their side. And I'm not going to go into that. Like I said at the beginning, this is not a video talking about what went wrong and whose fault it is. That's not what it is. It's just explaining to you what's going on and what did go on. So it just in general there were production issues, and the, the I, I gave I had given deadlines and I said I need recordings by now and I need social media by now and I need you to read the script by now and give me notes by now and all this stuff, and 
it just I had I had to keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it because they weren't meeting the deadlines. And in July, around no, I'm gonna say it was around end of June. End of June. It was end of June, beginning of July. That period right there. That I got the first recordings and I just didn't like them. And that's no issue. Uh, that's not. That's nothing against the people in Reno. So what happened then was I got the first recordings, and me and uh, and Lalandra and Toby, the other creators, we sat down and we listened to them, and we just looked at each other and said, "The show needs to be down here, or the show's not happening at all." And so I made. Uh, it was a really hard call to make. But I made a call to Jackie and I said, you know, that I think that the show needs to be down here to, to, to be the vision that I want. Um, and she said, of course, I understand. So I then sent an email and we ended the production in Reno. So before we continue, let me now explain what's going on. I know it's September 1st, and uh, when I'm recording this, it's September 1st. Whether I post it September 1st or not, I don't know. But uh, I understand that I said to people that they would get social media updates uh, back in, like, July. But that was one of the many production issues that they were having in Reno. Um, so let me explain what's going on with Elder Sign right now. We are working with a fantastic artist um, whose name I'm not at liberty to give right now, but they're fantastic. And uh, we're paying them a, a quite a bit of money to uh, make great art for our show. Uh, not the show in general, but the website, which is getting a complete revamp. Um, it's going to look better. It's going to uh, work better. The show is officially down here. We have a space. We've got, uh, and when I mean a space, we actually have a legitimate studio, which I, as I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you eventually um, in a future update. Um, I have a whole new crew. I, ha I we, we've, we've gone over the scripts so many times that they're pretty much refined. Um, we're, we're working and contacting uh, artists and musicians for the show. We're trying to get the show back on track. And the next step of that is finding actors. Because we had the unfortunate, we made the unfortunate decision to um, get rid of our actors. And it was it's very sad, but Jasmine will no longer be playing Hazel. Anthony will no longer be playing Jason Reed. And David Zybert um, will no longer be playing the narrator. And it's uh, it's very sad for me to say that because um, I was close to them. We worked together quite a bit uh, on not just Elder Sign but other productions. And, uh, and it really saddens me to say that. Um, I can only hope, though, that the next uh, set of actors who come along to play these roles will um, will do as good a job as them. And that's why I'm posting this video, because uh, as of pretty much today, we're doing a whole new round of casting here in Dallas. So we're casting completely new actors here in Dallas, and we're going to essentially rebuild the entire cast. So there will be different different voice there will be different voices for Hazel, Jason, the narrator, Daniel Blevin, uh, everybody. Everyone will have a completely new voice. Um, but don't worry, we've we've written to accommodate that. Don't worry about it. So. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's going on with the story? Because where we last left off, it was the Dreams Part 1, and there's no Part 2. So, what we are considering 
those episodes is those were the pilot season. Those were to gauge interest in the show. And a lot of positive uh, attention was brought to Elder Sign. So we are officially putting everything we've got into this show. We're pouring everything into it. Auditions is going to start October 1st and 2nd. Callbacks are the 7th. And we will begin recording. Uh, if nothing goes wrong, which I, I really doubt anything will go wrong, but we are going to begin recording on October 28th. And we're beginning uh, a whole new season of, uh, of Elder Sign starting, I'm just going to give you, I'm going to give you this. The new story starts about four months after the events of the Black Pillar. So it takes place four months later um, in the autumn. And what we're also telling you is I'm going to make a formal post about it on the new website. Um, but the dreams part one didn't happen. We are considering the canonical Elder Sign story from this moment on, the prologue part one to Black Pillar part two. That is the main story. The dreams part one didn't happen. It's going to be, it's going to go away. I hope that we can redo those scripts. Um, later but we've written whole new story episodes and uh we're cutting out all the filler um there will be filler episodes but we're focusing on the main story right now so the black pillar part two is the last episode that we did it is the end of the pilot season as of october 28th that is the beginning of what i am considering the first season because let me tell you that the production value has gone through the roof for the show. Um, I wish I could give you more information. Uh, I wish that this were a little more formal, um, but I believe in transparency. I'm sorry. It's mainly my fault that you guys haven't heard anything. And I do hope that that changes. Uh, because of this episode or whatever I'm doing, uh, because of this video that I'm doing, there will be frequent updates because the show is now here. I can now oversee what's happening. So you will be getting updates on uh, on casting. As soon as we have a cast, we will announce this cast. We hope to post the final piece of artwork for our website on our Facebook so that way everyone can see it and see the talented art that this person can do. We hope that we can post um, some music from our music providers uh, so that we, you guys can get an idea of what's coming in the episodes. Um, I also plan on maybe, maybe, uh, releasing some screenshots of the script. Uh, nothing that'll give anything away. The story is fantastic. Everyone is really excited to do this and we don't want to spoil anything. So we're going to go through the script and we're going to find bits and pieces that we feel that we can revealed to you that won't give anything away but will instead excite you and motivate you to listen to what's coming because let me tell you that what's coming is going to be amazing i 100 percent guarantee it the show is not dead the show is uh not gone the show is more alive than ever now that the show is down here my and the entire crew is rearing to go we're excited it's just it's fantastic uh, it, it's good to be back in the director's seat and i'm excited to say that elder sign will be returning shortly very soon um there will be no def set dates uh, is another thing that i want to add uh i'm not gonna over promise I'm not going to uh, say, oh, it's going to come out now and, uh, and disappoint you guys further. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, we have set dates for casting. We have set dates for callbacks. We have set dates for uh, recording. And we will be posting on social media the extent of those castings and uh, the recordings. We want to excite you guys. We do. So 
let me know what you want to see in the show as we move forward. And send me an email at mail at eldersignstudios.com. Yes, we have our own official emails now. Uh, it took forever, uh, but we finally have them. And uh, you can send us fan mail there. You can send us concerns there. You can send us everything there. You can also tweet us at Elder Sign Studio. And we hope that you love what's coming. And we hope that you're excited. Because I'm definitely excited. Uh, I wish I could tell you more. I really do. Uh, but for now, this is me signing off.